else make sure you talk to your raven regularly they like that have a look sooner A good day to you. Use your tongue or I will feed it to you. Enough for today. For Agnes' sake, don't be gentle if they spot me. Soldiers on alert. What's happened here? And it was a fool of them. An ale house. This must be it. Why the hood, stranger? Oh! Soldiers tightly wound. I'm looking for two men, not locals, a Norse and an Arab. The fellas the soldiers came after. If I were you, friend, I'd keep mum about them. <laughs> I'm looking for my brother. A large, outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin's soldiers. Get gone while you can. <laughs> These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. 
your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Vassen headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan, what's Sahalan, Eivor? <sighs> we could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Haven't you some murderous errands of your own, Bessem? Why are you here at all? My path crossed with Sigurds long ago. We work together now, toward a single purpose. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Gidrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Vassam talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my warcraft? I heed Vassam's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Vassam is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. War Axe. Do not let Bassem and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed.
I need your eyes, my friend. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the Elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you correct? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Yeah! Oh, yeah. What have they done to you? to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Bat him. Eivor, to horse.
This place is heavily guarded. They're about to execute the prisoners. These subjects of the Lady Eadwin have betrayed their own. <laughs> So many. Sainted Lady Eadwin, and engaging in sedition at general disreputable acts. Peace, shy. Each shall be called to confess his perfidy. <laughs> Confession grants ah! holds death. Failure to confess earns a disgraceful death. Vain Brandt! I stand innocent! Do you confess to cravenly plotting to betray Lady Edwin? My father, his father, and his father's father all fought for Mercia. I have fought for Mercia. Now you would shackle us to the home of the Wessex? This time, the execution has been killed. Get the murderer! Rescue us! We can help! Stand with Giedrich. I owe you my life, friend. Now what? Good lord. Why the fuss? Find you. Let's go now. Down with you!
Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a madwoman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Why are you crawling about? A patrol of Edwin's men is coming this way. We're gonna jump them. Aid me. Be my eyes.
well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Keithrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. <laughs> Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Are these murder slaves sometimes? To come.
What do you see, Sue? So
baits.
for taking! Oh, right. 